why do the Rams keep signing and releasing Carson Tink? In the past 33 days, the Los Angeles Rams have released former Alabama long snapper Carson Tinker five times and signed him five times in practice squad transactions. After the Rams play the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game on Sunday, Los Angeles is likely to release Tinker again on Monday. Tinker has been paired with kicker Ryan Santiso in these circular transactions as the Rams use the practice squad rules put in place by the NFL for the coronavirus pandemic as specialist insurance for each game. More NFL. Jonah Williams, Bengals O-line move on from nine-sack game. Damian Square on verge of NFL history with Cincinnati. Bengals kicker Evan McPherson didn't see his winning field goal. Starting with the 2020 season. The NFL has allowed teams to replace active roster players who are sidelined by reserve slash covid 19 designations with practice squad members. If game day arrives for Los Angeles and long snapper Matthew Orzek, kicker Matt Gay or punter Johnny Hecker wind up on the wrong side of the league's covid 19 protocol, the Rams have a replacement ready. But during the week of preparation for each game, Los Angeles doesn't need Tinker and Santiso on the practice squad as much as it needs position players who can help on the scout team during practice. When Tinker and Santiso were released on December 28th, the Rams signed tight end Kyle Markway for the practice squad. On January 1st, the day before Los Angeles regular season game against the Baltimore Ravens, Tinker and Santiso were back on the practice squad. On January 4th, Tinker and Santiso were released, and the Rams signed wide receivers Warren Jackson and J.J. Koski for the practice squad. On January 8th, the day before Los Angeles regular season finale against the San Francisco 49ers, Tinker and Santiso were re-signed for the practice squad. On January 11th, the long snapper and kicker were released, and the Rams signed safeties Blake Countess and Eric Weddle for the practice squad after both of Los Angeles' starting safeties were injured against San Francisco. Countess, a former Auburn standout, and Weddle have been elevated from the practice squad and played in both the Rams' postseason games, and they've been elevated for Sunday's game, too. On January 17th, when the Los Angeles played the Arizona Cardinals on Monday night in a super wildcard weekend game, Tinker and Santiso returned to the practice squad. On January 18, they were released as the Rams signed Markway and Jackson for the practice squad. On January 22, the day before Los Angeles divisional round game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tinker and Santiso were re-signed for the practice squad. On Tuesday, they were released with Markway and Jackson re-signed for a week of work as practice squad members before the usual Saturday exchange put Tinker and Santiso back on the practice squad for the NFC Championship game. Tinker originally joined the Rams on December 18 with Los Angeles' his third stop of the 2021 NFL season. Tinker handled all the Jacksonville Jaguars' long-snapping duties from 2013 through 2016. He missed the 2017 season after tearing the anterior cruciate ligament in his right knee in training camp. Tinker returned in 2018 but five games into the campaign, he suffered another knee injury and missed the remainder of the season. Jacksonville released Tinker with one season remaining on a four-year, $3.65 million contract extension, and he was out of football in 2019 and on the New York Giants practice squad in 2020. This season, Tinker snapped for the Buccaneers from the second through the ninth games while Tampa Bay's regular long snapper, Zach Triner, recovered from an injury sustained in the season-opening contest. Tinker made a one-game stop with the Las Vegas Raiders, playing on December 5 with regular long snapper Trent Sieg on reserve slash covid 19 for the week. Tinker's first stay on the Rams practice squad lasted for two weeks before the weekly release and sign strategy started. The Rams and 49ers are scheduled to square off at 5.30 p.m. CST Sunday at Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, California. Fox will televise the game. The winner will represent the NFC in Super Bowl LVI which also is scheduled for Sophie Stadium at 5.30 p.m. February 13. For more of AL.com's coverage of the NFL, go to our NFL page. Mark Abinet is a sports reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at Amark1.